Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. So here in this lecture, we will see various things, various concepts about Grignard reagent. It means when it will act as a base, when it will act as a nucleophile, when it undergoes 1-2 addition reaction, where it undergoes 1-4 addition reactions and what will be the stereochemistry in different types of reactions. All the things will be clear in your mind if you watch this video till the end. Okay, so watch this video till the end. Hi students, so I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the Grignard reagents. First of all, see what is Grignard reagent. Actually, it is a organometallic compound. Organometallic means when the carbon is directly attached to a metal and here carbon is attached to magnesium. It means it is RMGX. This is the general abbreviation of Grignard reagent. Here this alkyl group it attached to magnesium. Generally it may be CS3, it may be C2H5 or it may be phenyl. Okay and this X is the halogen. It may be Cl, it may be Br. So first of all understand what is its different types of properties. Actually Grignard reagent can act as a base or it can act as a nucleophile. So it undergoes basically two types of reactions. One where it is acting as a base. Okay. It means it is showing acid base type of reactions. Second type of reactions when it act as a nucleophile. And when it act as a nucleophile, it may do two types of reactions. One is called addition reaction and one is substitution reaction. So we will watch all of this one by one. So first type of reaction is when the Grignard reagent act as a base. It means acid base type of reaction. See here, this is our Grignard reagent and this alkyl group is actually basic in nature. It can attack on any hydrogen that is acidic. It means if this hydrogen is acidic or it is called active hydrogen. If this is present, then the reagent RMGX can attack on this. See here, how it will attack? This is our hydrogen, okay? This is active hydrogen. This reagent will attack on this and it will form the alkene. So this is the common type of reaction that is given by the Grignard reagent. As a result, this will formed okay so this can re this reaction can happen whenever the acidic hydrogen is present now how we can find out the acidic hydrogen see here these all groups you can see these all groups this hydrogen is acidic this is acidic these all that i have marked highlighted okay these all hydrogens are acidic hydrogen so if a hydrogen is attached to these all groups then this is called the acidic hydrogen and whenever this hydrogen is present the alkyl group of the rmgx will abstract the hydrogen and it will form this alkene okay and the rest of the portion will go like this okay so this is the basic reaction that happens when a acidic hydrogen is present the second type of the reaction the, that is given by the Grignard reagent is when it acts as a nucleophile. When the acidic hydrogen is not present, then in that case, our reagent will act as a nucleophile. Suppose we have given any aldehyde or ketone like this. Okay. Then this, our reagent RMGX will act as nucleophile. Okay. Now see here. This group will move like this. Okay. There will be a positive charge on this carbon and this negative charge. Okay. So this can attack here. Okay. So what will happen? You are getting here. See. At this portion, this alkyl group will get attached. Okay. This is R dash. And here, at this position, we are getting OMGX. Okay. This will be negatively charged and this will be positive charged. Okay. Now this may undergo the secondary reaction. It means it can get hydrolyzed. So if you have given H3O plus, then it will get hydrolyzed and you will get ultimately this type of product. Okay. This is a general reaction that can happen. Now when the Grignard reagent is acting as a nucleophile, it may undergo two types of reaction. One is called substitution reaction whenever you have given a leaving group okay if there is a leaving group in the compound then there will be a substitution reaction suppose we have given acyl group 
if you have given OR group or you have given halide CL. Okay, such type of groups you have given, then it can undergo the substitution reactions because you have given the leaving group. So whenever there is a leaving group present, then there can be a substitution reaction. How it will happen? See here. Suppose we have given R C double bond O C L. Okay, and this is our Grignard reagent. So what will happen? This will attack here. This bond will move like this. Again, this bond will come here, and this C L will leave out. Okay, so you are getting R C double bond O R dash plus M G C L X. Okay. Similarly, another reaction may happen. If you have given like this, R C double bond O O R dash, okay, and here you have given R double dash M G X. Now what can happen? This will move in this manner. This bond will move like this. This will again come here, and this will move out because this is a leaving group. So you are getting R C double bond O, and here you are getting R double dash plus Mg X O R S. Okay, so these are substitution reaction, and this happens whenever you have given a leaving group. But whenever there is no leaving group, then there will be the nucleophilic addition reaction. Whenever there is no leaving group, then in that case there will be the addition reaction. Suppose you have given a general ketone. Okay, you have given a general ketone like this, and here you have given. R M G X. Then what will happen? This will move like this, and this bond will move here. Okay. So what you are getting? You are getting here, here O minus, and at O minus you will get attack M G X, and here you will get R. Okay. And this is R double dash. Then it will undergo water hydrolysis, and you are getting the alcohol in this manner. This is the reaction that is happening with ketone. But this type of reaction can also occur with ketene. If you have given this type of group, then also occur this reaction. If you have given isocyanate, then also this type of reaction occur. If you have given cyanide, then also this type of reaction occurs. How this will happen? See here. If this is given to us ketene, then R M G X will attack here. You are getting C H two double bond C. This R is attacking here. This bond is moving like this. You are getting here O M G X and here R, and then you are doing its hydrolysis. So you are getting C H two double bond C R O H. This can undergo tautomerism. So you are getting C H three C double bond O R. All right. Similarly, if you have given this isocyanate. Then how the reaction will happen? This will react with R dash M G X. What is formed here? This will attack on this. This will move like this. So you are getting R N double bond C O M G X R dash. This can undergo water hydrolysis. So you are getting R N double bond C O H R dash. This can undergo tautomerism. So you are getting R N H C double bond O R S. Okay. So this will be your product. Similarly, see here the reaction with the cyanide R C triple bond N. If it undergoes reaction with M G X R M G X Grignard reagent, then what will happen? This will move like this. This will move like this. Okay. So you are getting R C. Here R dash double bond N minus M G X plus. It can undergo the acid hydrolysis. So you are getting R C R dash, and here you will get double bond O. So this will be your product. Now one very important thing that I want to tell you. This thing is very much important, and that you should know for the CSI NET exam that the Grignard reagent is acting as hard nucleophile. If it is given in ether solution, if you have given a mixture of Grignard reagent and ether, then it is acting as a hard nucleophile. Okay. Suppose you have given alpha beta unsaturated compound. Okay. Then it will undergo one two type of addition reaction. 
what is the difference between 1 2 addition and 1 4 addition see here suppose you have given r m g x okay here will be negative charge here will be positive charge okay then this attack at this position okay and this bond will move like this okay so what you are getting you are getting here in this manner o minus here the r group get attached okay now this mgx will attack at its this position and you are getting a product like this now you can see this product is called 1 2 addition product this is 1 2 addition product but suppose you have given r mgx in the cui then cui is a soft reagent and it will make this r mgx a soft nucleophile now it behaves as a soft nucleophile okay and if you have given a alpha beta unsaturated compound like this then there will be 1 4 addition it means now the addition will happen at this position okay at this position the addition will happen okay so what you are getting now now your bond will move here here at this position you will get attached the r group and at this position you are getting attached omgx it means you are getting a 1 4 addition product i am telling you this with the help of one example see here suppose you have given this compound okay and you are treating it with ch3 mg br then what will happen at this position this will attack and this will move like this so at this position you are getting a ch3 group okay and at this position you are getting o mg pr this is 1 2 addition this is 1 2 addition because here the ch3 mg br is acting as a nucleophile when you have no, given no solvent then it is ether okay assume it it is ether now you are treating it with a acid hydrolysis h3o plus then at this position you are getting oh here cs3 and here cs3 so you are getting a 1 2 addition product similarly one more example if you have given and you are treating it with firstly cs3 mg br in ether then what will happen this group will move here this will go like this and you will get a 1 2 addition product it means at this position you are getting omg br at here you are getting cs3 this bond will remain as it is now you are treating it with h3o plus then you are getting oh and cs3 similarly if you have given this and you are treating it with cs3 mg br in ether what you are getting see here you have given ether then attack will be always here and you are getting 1 2 addition product it means here you are getting omg br here you are getting cs3 then you are doing its acid hydrolysis you are getting at this position oh and here cs3 but now the conditions can be changed if you are taking the same compound and you are treating it with cs3 mgbr in cui then in that condition there will be 1 4 addition now how it will move see here i am making again the compound so that you can understand this was our compound okay and ch3 group will attack at this position why because this bond is moving like this okay there was double bond and this bond is moving like this okay so here you are getting a positive charge and here this will migrate at the fourth position okay so bond is moving here okay at this position you are getting ch3 and at this position you are getting omg br again you are doing its water hydrolysis so that you are getting here oh and at this position ch3 and ch3 okay. now understand the stereochemistry behind the grignard reagent see here grignard reagent will always attack from the less bulkier side suppose you have given a compound like this here you can see this is tertiary butyl group and that is attached above the plane so 
what will be our stereochemistry see here above the plane side is bulkier group okay so this will attack from below the place plane side it means it will attack from the below the plane side so what you are getting this group is above the plane okay so there will be no attack from above the plane side it means our group is moving from below the plane side and we are getting oh group above the plane i am directly writing it okay so this is the product that you are getting now one more thing if you have given this type of compound okay chair form you have given and there is a bulky group at the equatorial position then this cs3 mgbr will attack from the equatorial side okay it means it will attack from this side here you are getting cs3 group at the equatorial side and oh group at axial side now see here if you have given the nor borman type of structure okay then if at the bridge head position it means at this position if there is no group it means hydrogens are present at the position 7 then the attack will be from the exo site it means the attack will be from this side this is called exo site so attack will be from this side it means our cs3 br mgbr this is our reagent this cs3 group will attack from this side okay so we are getting a product like this this is the attack site so cs3 group will come here and oh group will move like this okay similarly if there are two groups at the bridge head position this is the two methyl groups that are present at the bridge head position or the position 7 then the attack can be from the endo site this is the endo site so attack will be from this position okay and this group will move like this okay so this is called endo attack okay it means if the groups are present at bridge head position then the attack will be from endo site and if there is no group at bridge head position then the attack will be from exo site now you can do this example yourself see here this example can you do it yourself first of all do yourself you have given firstly me mgcl and cucl okay then secondly you are treating it with this reagent okay so what you have to do firstly this reagent see here you have given me mgcl grignard reagent with cucl so it will act as a soft nucleophile so how this reaction will move this group will move like this this will move like this and this methyl group will attack at this position okay suppose you have given the stereochemistry here it means this phenyl group is above the plane this methyl group will go below the plane why because this phenyl group is bulkier group okay this will take the position above the plane so our methyl group will go below the plane this is phenyl group this will be methyl group okay and this is our double bond this will be o minus now this bond will move like this okay and here this will be get attacked by this you have given the reagent ch2 double bond ch ch2 cl okay so what will happen this will attack at this position this group will move here and this cl group will eliminate so what you are getting here this will change i am giving you the reagent that is formed here this will form like this in this manner okay and at this position it will get attached okay so you are getting here double bond o this is your phenyl group methyl group is below the plane okay and this group will again go below the plane because above the plane the bulkier phenyl group is present okay so here you are getting ch2 ch double bond ch2 so this will be your final product okay so this is the basic stereochemistry behind the grignard reagent i have tried to told you all the concepts behind the grignard reagent okay and different other reagents i have told you in my 
playlist. Okay, so you can watch the playlist of the organic name reagents. Several other reagents are given there. And if you want some more reagents, you can comment me. Thank you.